Good evening. This is HP Supercharge 2SS dot LS3. Welcome. Welcome to Gran Turismo 7. We are here at the map layout and I'm going to show you how to do some customization basically on your racing uniforms, you know, your racing accessories like your helmet or your racing suit. So, let's go ahead and go to GT Auto. This is where we go, GT Auto right there. And we're going to go to Driving Gear. Okay, for some of you, I've, uh, I've posted some photos on uh, Facebook, especially for the Gran Turismo world. Uh, someone asked me, hey, how did you custom painted your 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 racing suit you can't do that I mean is it possible so so for that reason I'm gonna show you how all right first we're gonna choose the livery editor we just go to livery editor right now here you see there's my racing suit I use the GM Goodwin service racing suit with my Jim Goodwrench helmet. But anyway, we're going to create a new one. And basically, this is going to be probably for my, what's that other one? Oh, the Akina Speed Stars. Yes. I'm going to create a racing suit for them. So, we're going to create a new design. Uh, matter of fact, let's change the, let's grab, a, I just got a newly, this uh, new race suit just given to me. This one here, the Puma suit number two. We're going to use that. All right. And then we're going to go to racing from livery editor. We go to racing suit livery. And then we're going to go create design. Okay. So we're going to go to choose a Puma suit number two. Okay. We're doing that. Now, we're going to paint the suit. So, we go to colors. This is almost the same way as custom painting your car. Same thing with adding the decals and, you know, doing editor. And you can save and rechange it, everything. So, we're going we're gonna to change the color of the racing suit. All right. Color one. This usually shows any the sections of your suit, uh, what's going to be painted. So, we're going to go with color one. Let's see, let's choose a palette here. Uh, let's see. This is going to be my Akina Speed Star Racing Suit. Basically for the imports. Uh, let's see, let's try the traditional colors. Mm, let's get a vivid. Yeah, that looks really vivid. -y. Mm, pink. Let's try something a little brighter, maybe like a greenish, dark green. No. Right there, I think that's a good color. That's, um, I forgot what was the name of that color. I think some of you know, but we're going to choose this color, all right? So, once we choose that color, we hit OK. 
and then we're going to change the uh, next pattern of colors which you'll see which see the, it's on the insides of the suit you see it just as it changes colors when I moved to all the different colors yeah so we can get something opposite of the original color maybe let's try we're gonna try another vivid hmm bright red that's too reddish orange no maybe some yellow or blue green let's try some yellow yeah hmm We'll go with this type of yellow okay now if we decide we don't like the color we could actually change it and then save it okay next color we're gonna put some I'm gonna go all out I don't know some of you guys may say hey what the heck is this guy choosing this color we're gonna go with some pink there you go so I'm gonna definitely gonna choose a pink so that's good and this one here what section is this? That's the gloves. So we're gonna match the match the color. So we're gonna put pink on the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you guys are like this guy's going really insane. Okay, this one is probably gonna be the shoulder. No, the shoes. Okay, the shoes we're gonna make them yellow. Matching color yellow, so we're gonna do that. There you go. Or is that lime green or something? Okay, so we got that. So once we have that done, we back out. And then we could do a preview how it looks like. All right. Yeah, it's a preview. Yeah, that's not bad of color or shade. The helmet, we're going to change that. We're going to do that later. But I think that's a good color. Yeah, nice color. We'll get a close up so you can see the vivid color of the pink and the yellow and the peacock blue. Yeah, that's what it is. Peacock blue has that fluorescent blue, lightish, bluish, greenish. Okay, so we got that done. So now we're gonna put some decals. Now, now here it's telling you the warning. That once you do this, that what I just done is going to be all blanked out. Uh, formerly, you know, the, when I first got it, it was gray and the other colors. So it's going to erase that and replace it with these colors that we just put in. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do like an Akina version for the Akina race team, my Akina race team. So we got the chest or we could choose the back. Uh, let's try the chest first. So we're going to do, now uh, we heard all the patterns. We have the brand logo, so we could use that. You know, there's one, the one brand. This is from A to Z. See, this is the other brand logos. Okay, and then there's these, how you say, fiction, fictional type logos, fantasy logos. I don't know if they're, they're actually real places, but you know. And then you have your racing decals. This is for, you know, the tow, emergency, escape, and all that stuff. And then we have their patterns. This is the patterns we could, uh, that you use to paint the cars. You could actually use this, put the patterns on your racing suit also. This is, uh, this is like fade from one front to how it fades up. You see how it fades at the other end? Now this one here is the same patterns, but it's all solid color. And then we have our shape one, just the basic one colors. You could actually recreate a, a, any of these here to create a number. You, you could use it as like a background number and you could put the number in, in the center. And this one is the opposite, it's a fade. How you see how it fades up? Yeah, okay. But, so we're gonna get out of that. I'm gonna go to my custom decal items which I've downloaded downloaded online and 
these are SBGs. Uh, they have to be either 1.0 to 1.1. Those are the only style that Gran Turismo 7 will accept. No other percentage. It has to be either 1.0 or 1.1 SBG. Now these here, some of these didn't work out, so I had to search online for uh, conventional. When you first get these logos, there you actually have to get the transparent ones, PNG, PNG transparent logos, which, as you can see, it's going to be only one color. Now the 1.0 and a 1.1 represents only like one or two stage colors that's it and that's all you know that's all the uh, that's what Gran Turismo will accept only but anyway uh, some of these logos couldn't be accepted because they were so big so first when you find your logo make sure it's PNG and then from there you have to convert it to a SVG 1.0 or 1.1 then from there, sometimes the percentage, which has to be 15 KB, sometimes some of these could be 100 KB, uh, 900 KB, uh, you know, something big. Anything bigger than 15 KB, the decaler download will not be accepted by Gran Turismo. So another way you have to compress it to shrink it down. So that's when you go to you locate an online compress to compress your SBG to uh, 15 KB. And that's what I did with these. Some of these were very large, but I was able to compress them after I've from PNG to SVG 1.1, then compressing it to 15 KB. And that's 15 KB SVG. So, anyway, so what I'm looking for, this is what I'm looking for right here. S, the initial D logo. So, I'm going to choose that. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to choose this one. Yes, for the namesake. So, what you do is you could, you hit this circle here. This actually will make your pattern move in, the, in different directions. You could actually place it here. You know, any, anywhere in the uh, in the chest section. So, so this is one thing I'm gonna place it right, right there. Yeah, it's a good good spot. So that's one color. If you want to change it, you just go to the paint, the little paint paint uh, paint pail, and you hit that, and you hit color palette palette, and you could use your color. See how it changes colors. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, see you go to traditional, I'm gonna use like a gold pattern. Yeah, there's a gold pattern. Uh, well, no, I need something to bring it out. So let's try. Oh yeah, okay, we'll use the gold pattern. We're gonna match the gold pattern patterns of the side colors the pink and gold you see there so I'm gonna get this all right so once I pinch the gold first I hit OK and then I want to recreate that same Akina logo with a different color so what you do is just move to this front here layer controllers and you would hit duplicate and then you hit this the edit decal and move it ever so slightly until you notice it's like a little blur see how it enlarges the other second decal is already showing so once you do that you hit ok then you hit your pail and you hit your color palette and then there's the color right there bam choose the color hit ok and you can actually make a close-up and see how it's double colored now nice what do you think that's cool huh Oh yeah, you could actually move the pink in different directions as you as I will show an example. See how it moves? Oh yeah. I can make it 3D. So I could go like this. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna make it 3D 3D color. 
just to bring out the Akina logo. But I'm going to bring it out, uh, let's see, right there, that should be a good spread. Or should I put next, next door, next to it? Now, I'll probably bring it at an angle. Bring it higher a little bit. Okay, so I got that. So, once I do that, so I told you I'm going to put another third layer. So, what would be a good color to bring it out? White. White or probably black. So, we're going to go to the layer controller and do another duplicate. And from there, what you do is hit that hit the center de edit decal and then you could you will notice the pink will move a little bit right there and I could bring it down just right there just right there okay now I'm going to choose my third layer color decal color so let's see like I said we could choose black there we go black or we could choose the white Hmm, huh, that looks a little better. Okay, so we got that good. Now, it's still not right. So, once I okay that, so then after that, once all done, I could actually make this better looking by changing the, the position layers from, you know, from, from the back to the front end. So this is what I do. So after, the, after I choose all my three colors, I hit finish editing. And there are my three sections. Now, most cases, if you have good memory, this is usually the first one. So you can see how it's, where it's blinking. You see the color, which, which one's blinking? That's the gold. And this color should be the pink. Yeah, that's the pink. And the third is the white. So we need to change the white, which is the number three layer. You hit this, oops, I'm sorry. Uh, you actually, uh, on your controller, you hit the pyramid color. And then, instead of, you move it down to move layer. And then, you just preposition it. And there you go. What a change. Now that looks a lot better, huh? Yeah, but I want the, you want to bring the, I want to bring the, pink logo a little closer so once I already rearranged my patterns from back to front I want to readjust it so once I do I, I hit it again and I move to the edit decal but first I want to do it before I do that I want to get closer okay so I hit the edit decal and I can move the pink oops that's the white actually oh wow Okay, well, I can just move the white too, so. Yeah, that looks a lot better, don't you think? And that's it. So that's my, there's my, there, uh, there is our first custom decal on our newly colored <coughs> Puma racing suit. Okay, now from there. We get add on add on new decals. So we're gonna go to my custom section, which is called my items, and then we are going to pick something. Uh, hmm. Let's see. We got Akina Red Stars. We could put initial D on the other side. So I'm going to move this so I can look at it. And then I could just reposition it. Or uh, let's see. I'm going to shrink it down a bit actually. Initial D. All right. You can actually change the angle of your, of the decal by using the back end of your controller. I think that's uh, L2, I think. Yeah, see, L2, right two, left two, 
right too. So I can just get, angle it like that. And it looks pretty good, but I'd rather have it, have it sting like that. So it makes the color, makes it good. Just level it. Just get just right. Okay. Now we're going to bring out the color. So we're going to, sometimes it's good to have different colors. Some, or some other ways you could just keep it one basic color. So we're just going to, I actually want to match the other color. So I'm going to do that. So once we do that, I hit gold. Oh, look, look. There's the gold. All right. And then I'm going to go to layer control, do duplicate. And then I'm going to move the logo slightly a bit. Just a little, ever slightly. Okay. And then we're going to change the color. Choose the matching color white. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do the same process again. We we'll go to layer controller, duplicate. Now we're going to hit edit decal. So we're going to reposition it. We're going to move it more. There we go. And then we're going to change the color to pink to match the other side. There we go. Voila. Isn't that nice or what? That is so cool. And it's, that's another way. Okay, so I'm just going to make the rest of the decals. I'm going to put all basic decals. So, now we're going to use brand logos. Let's see. My most favorite ones, I use Araya. Uh, I'm going to reposition it. First, I'm going to bring it down, break it back up. I'm going to center it. Uh, shorten it down so I could just downsize it using using your controller which is uh, your reset rotating button number three so number L uh, R3 is to larger it um, L3 is to move it left and right all different positions so I'm just gonna leave it here uh, make sure it's centered. There we go. I'm finished. And we go to the next add layer. Uh, let's see. My other favorite one is auto meter. Yes. So I'm just going to reposition it. And, uh, get it even. Nice even matching layer. We're going to shrink it down just to match the other side of the Araya. And there you go. It looks pretty good. Okay, now say you want to put some patterns. So we're going to do some really mystique patterns here. So we're going to go to pattern. I always love the fadeaway patterns. So we're going to do this. Hmm, let's see. Let's try this one here. Okay. So, we're going to resize it and go to Edit Decal. And we're going to use the uh, skew, which is which enlarges it, is, is, is R3. So, I'm going to make it large. Okay. And like I said, you can only go so far, only in the chest section. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to try to even it out so let's see uh, I want to make this really matchy or is it should be this way hmm what do you think oh yeah I think so this way better okay so and see if you could actually if I center it just right okay that should be good all right so now now I want to recreate 
Now, instead of choosing another decal or, you know, moving and rearranging it, you can actually recreate the same pattern decal I just put and reverse it on the other side of the chest. So what I do, just hit layer control and go duplicate up its duplicate on the on opposite side. So once I hit that, oh there. But actually, because this is not a car, because it's in the same front position. Now, if it was left side to right side, they, I would use the regular opposite. So what I did is what I have to do. I have to yeah, that and erase it. Delete layer. Yes. Now I choose again pattern, and instead of going here, I go to duplicate symmet 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 symmetrically. So what I did that is I hit it, and there you go. Now it's a bit off. I'm not sure if I centered it perfectly. What do you think? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust it by using the edit decal and just reposition it ever so slightly. I notice on the left, if you're looking at it on the right side of the chest, it's actually straight, a little bit more straighter. Now if you look on the left side of the chest, it's more angled. So what I do, I'm going to rotate using R2. There we go. And then just to bring it up and let's see. Yeah, still not right. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty hard. But I want to make this perfect. So I'm going to bring this up a little higher. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty difficult. Yeah. Because of the, see how the, the center, you know, where the button part of the center of the race suit is off, but that's because of that. It's because it has hidden buttons, a hidden zipper, the zipper section. So I think I'm right there. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on par, on target. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to readjust it. Instead, I'm going to move. Let's see. I'm going to move the right side <sighs> pattern ever so slightly, a little bit to the right. So, okay. That's a little better. And then I'm going to go back to the second pattern, which is the left side. Hit the edit decal, and I'm going to Move it ever so slightly until you look at the very bottom. See how it is of the tip? I'm going to match it. <sighs> ever slightly matching it. Mm. Okay, that's perfect. I think so. Okay. So that's one good pattern. Now you notice the patterns are over the decals. So to fix that, I would uh, pick either 9 or 10, whichever you choose, and hit the, the pyramid and move the layer all the way down first. And then the number 10, I pick that up also, move the layer, and move it all the way down, which is over here. And there. Oops. Now, the pattern is not blocking or covering the decals. So that's a pretty, pretty cool pattern. Okay. Um, I don't like the white, so we're going to change that. I'm going to put some gold on it. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna match the colors of the side. Yeah, that's gonna be some work, but I'm just gonna do it one time. Okay, so we're gonna go to decal back. So we're gonna choose this. 
well, actually number one, which is, see what's blinking, is the left side chest pattern. So we're going to change it, we're going to double, we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to move it ever so slightly. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to move it slightly. And then I'm going to change the angle. But first I'm going to paint it to, for to match. So that way you won't see duplicate color of the white. So we're going to put it pink. And there you go. Now that one is a bit off. So we're going to fix that. But anyway, we're going to change the other side too. Now, you notice here is one and two. This is the one which is the uh, pattern that's in the front. And the pink is pattern number two, which is in the back. And as you notice, it's sort of off colorish. It's not matching the side colors. So, we're going to change, we're going to fix that later. But we're going to, we have to match the other pattern on the right side of the chest. So, we're going to go to pattern three. And then we're going to move it, duplicate it, and we're going to move it ever so slightly again. Okay, and we're going to change, matching the colors, pink. Okay, so we're done. Now, like I said, you notice it does it, it's off. So, what we do, we have to reverse these patterns. We have to put this pattern down here and this pattern down here. So, what I do, I'm going to arrow, I mean, uh, hit the pyramid and move the layer. And this is where actually it tells me where I move it. Boom. Okay, that still didn't work. So I'm going to move it back. Must have did something wrong here. Hmm, that's still not right. Maybe. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. So. What I need to do. I'm going to actually, maybe it's not that, maybe it's just because it's white. So we're going to change the color to gold where it's supposed to be. So we're going to choose the gold. And that's getting there, but it's still off. So I'm going to change this color here too, to gold. Or was it yellow? No, I think it was yellow, huh? Yeah, okay. I thought it was gold. Oh no, gold was for the Akina. Okay, so we're gonna choose the yellow. Okay. And we're gonna change this again. Yeah, because yeah, that's a, that's a yellow. Okay, so we have to change this color to yellow. Let's see. And as you notice, on the color history, the last color that you chose is always on the far left. And there you go. Okay, that looks a lot better, but this color is still way off. So I'm going to reposition this. Move this. No, that still doesn't look right. Hmm, what could it be? weird maybe this let's try this hmm it's a lot better hmm, 
something just doesn't look right. Maybe because it's a faded color. So what we're going to need to do, probably because of the color, and the the you know because both pattern uh, the the two colors in the main section they're not blending correctly. So I'm going to choose a darker color to bring out the pink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here, choose a palette. And probably get a more stronger pink. Oops, I picked the wrong color again. Okay, hold on. This one. Okay, so probably the additional. No, the vivid. That didn't work out. Hmm. <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to re reverse these. Move them back in their same sequence. Okay. Maybe because, oh, you know what? I got a feeling what it is. Okay, so we're going to take these out. We're just going to leave the pink. We're just going to leave the pink alone. So I'm going to delete the yellows to bring out the pink. Okay. Okay, what, as you can see, the colors are not matching the sides. So, what we're going to need to do, Okay, I think what it is, is because the, I uh, choose the wrong pattern style, the fade away, it should be just a solar solid, so we're going to delete these. Okay, so we're going to get the layer, we're going to change the solid pattern. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going to, we're going to choose something more different. Let's see, we're going to get this one. Okay, hold on. And I'm going to twist it around. Okay, I'm going to uh, shrink, slow down the picture so I can see it. Okay, so, resize it up again. Like that. What do you think? Anyone want the larger? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, that's good. So we're going to copy it. So we go to layer control and go to duplicates symmetrically. Bam! There you go. Okay, and that looks centered because you can see the zipper section is really off because, like I said, it's covering up the zipper. So that's just extra layer. 
So we got that color, so we're gonna get choose uh, make them pink. We have the pink already here. Yeah, there you go. Now it looks a lot better. Yeah, what it is, we got the, that fadeaway pattern was not the right one. So that's all it was. Okay. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, so now what we're going to do, let's see if this works. We're going to choose this pattern. The one that's blinking. We're going to duplicate it and put in the yellow. So we we'll hit duplicate. And then we're going to move it ever so slightly. Well, a little bit more actually. And choose the yellow. You'll see the yellow will start to bring out. And there you go. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, and we hit the color. Okay, the color. And then we're going to copy it, duplicate symmetrically. Bam. You know, that's actually better. So what I do, what we do, what we're going to do, all we do is just rearrange it. See how they're off? This is going to have to be moved down. So I moved the move layer. And I moved it until I'm over here. Boom. Okay. I think it's the opposite. Okay. We're going to move it back. <laughs> and move it back up. Okay. This one is actually the one we need to move. So I'm going to move the layer up. One layer up. There you go. Nice. Now, now you can see the decals are being blocked by the patterns I just put. So it's the same thing, like I said. You just got to move your patterns or your decals. Just hit move layer and move it all the way down in sequence. Okay, so we're going to look at it. Nice. Oops. There you go. Good patterns. Yes, perfect. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, so we're good. Now, uh, let's do the back side. So we're going to do the back side. Let's see, we already got a Kina initial D. So... Because of this name, our name, we're going to put the big namesake name, Akina, speed stars in the back. Make, we're going to make that real large. Okay, so, um, we're going to choose decals again. And we're going to choose the back side. And because it's the, it's the name of the team, the race team, Akina speed stars. And I'm going to go to my items. Go to my custom logos and look for Akina. There we go. Or we could put the old original one that you've seen on the um, TV show, the um, the anime version of that. That's just what that's what they that's the actual one that they use. But uh, because this is modern day, we're going to use this one here. So I'm going to move the decal. You can enlarge it. We can make it fancy like that if you want. Yeah, that would be so. That would be cool. All right. Now we're not gonna match all the colors. We wanna bring out the namesake. So we're gonna make it a little larger, and then we're gonna double it. Mm -hmm. Duplicate. Then move it. Like ever so slightly upward. There we go. Choose white. Oh, that looks pretty cool too, but I would rather have white. It'll bring it out. Or 
we could actually make an opposite color using pink too. So we got the white there. Mm, let's move the white just a bit more. It was slightly there. Yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna make a three-layer Akina logo. And well, actually, I don't know why I did that. That's so silly me. I could have just chose this one here and just make a double. I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna move it ever so slightly. For the pink. Yeah, there. Choose the pink. Da. Oops, I messed up. I messed up. Hold on. There we go. Now. Okay, the pink is too far off, so I want to move it ever so closely back together. Not too much. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Finished product. Is that cool or what? And then I could put ever so lightly uh, sponsored logos. Hmm, let's see. We already got a riot on auto meter. We're going to put something different. Uh, let's try endless. Yeah, let's see. There's so many endless. So win list to win. We'll just put regular endless. Yeah. And we're going to move this. Right there. Shrink it down. Okay, choose another one. Amuse is pretty popular too. Uh, yeah, I like the two color. We'll try the basic color there. Okay, finish. I'm gonna put one more uh, because it's a puma, so we're gonna put puma for the background. We're gonna put, uh, we'll try to, we'll just put the black. There you go. Whoops, puma. No, because the Puma logo is there already, so we're going to take that out. Yeah, too much too much of the same logo, we'll just, we'll just throw it off. Okay, um, let's see, Tyne, I like Tyne. Let's see, we'll, we'll go with this one. And then the endless, I'm going to move that a little bit here. Probably could add on another, another brand logo. Let's see here. Mm. Mm. Trust, trust racing. Now, one thing for sure you have to be careful of what of the decals you choose because they're your sponsorship say if your tires are toyo tires you should have toyo tire logo on it now say if you had a goodyear logo and you put toyo tires what's the use of putting toyo tires when you actually put are using goodyear tires so you have to put goodyear tires and so on and so on if you understand what i mean Okay, so we're going to choose, let's see, Greedy, no, uh, yeah, no, Fujitsu, Fujitsubu exhaust systems, I, lo I, lo I love that, it's 
pretty it's pretty it it has a two color base and i love it it's just strong so we're just gonna bring this a little bit bigger actually we're gonna put it over here yeah so we could just put it here for fujitsubu and just move the endless down here and just shrink it down There you go. Now, because the Fuji Subu is all bendy, because it's matching the the waves of the suit, so that's fine. Okay, so that's good there. So we're just gonna look. Yeah, see how it's straight, but when you're when you're in a different angle, it's all crooked. But it's good. All right, that looks good. Uh, now let, let's see, let's put something on the pants. Yeah, bring that up. Okay, so we're gonna go to decals again. We're gonna go to the left leg. All right, this is where it's get you get really into it. So, uh, let's see. God, I'm trying to remember what kind of wheels am I using, what kind of tires am I using I think they were Yokohamas, I think, or is it Goodyear? Oh my god. Oh well. We could change that later. Uh, no, actually, we're not going to put the tire logo. We'll put something else. Um, Polyphony. Yeah, there we go. We'll use the Polyphony logo. Uh, black is pretty standish outish so we're gonna hit the edit decal we're gonna rotate it and we can actually extend it now you could only ex you could you could extend it so far see how it covers up so that means you have to shrink it down a bit so everything could be read carefully uh see i'm gonna shorten this slow down the photo and you, as you can see it's readable so you could only Gonna reposition it a little higher. See how it disappears? Yeah, you can only go so far. So you gotta re remember seeing that. Okay, everything looks good. The polyphony, see how it, it blocks out? So you have to make sure it's it's visible. And that's right there. Okay, now most cases it should imitate the other side. So what I'm gonna do no it's not okay i have to do it separately so we're going to do the same thing put in polyphony black and we're going to rotate it and enlarge it i'm going to bring it out so i can bring the photo just slightly down and i want to make sure i could see it okay now i can enlarge it Okay, that's where it stops, so I'm going to leave it there, and de to determine it will match the other side, I want to make sure, I'm around, I want to make sure the sizes are there, uh, yeah, it's about even, but the NY is, no, that's, look, it's on the mark, TM, TM, yeah, it's on the mark. Okay, so we got it good. Uh, I just want to make sure I got the polyphony showing real better. Yeah, that looks better now. Yes. Hmm. Maybe a little higher. Let's see. I want to make sure I can see it. Oh, it disappears. Okay, maybe I have to enlarge it a bit. Okay, the polyphony, the P is missing, so I'm going to bring it down. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, and we could put some on the side too. 
So we finished with that. Now we just go to the arms. This is where it gets cooler. Now you can choose another one. Um, I'm going to use my rectal logo and let's see. Now for some of you over on the other side of the water, Japan, I know some of you guys probably watch Street Outlaws, so, and I love Street Outlaws too. So I'm going to use their logo for the side patch on the arm. So I'm going to do the same. Get it twisted around. And, hmm. I want to even it out here, but it's hard with the Puma. Okay. See how the street allows? Oh, this is pretty. Yee. So that means I have to shrink it down a bit. There we go. I think that's good. Okay, now it's too plain. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to match somewhat the color of the, you can see the color of the pink and the yellowish or goldish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use the background gold and then black for the out, out, for, for uh, on the top. Okay, so I'm going to double copy, duplicate. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So this one I'm gonna, gonna raise it downward. Oops. Oops, that's too much, I think. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So and we're gonna use the gold. the yellow okay so you see how it's awkward so we're gonna re we're gonna change these positioned there you go then we'll look at it what do you think Oh yeah, I think so. So that's good. Um, if you guys, some of you guys don't like it, hey, it's okay, but I like it. So now we're gonna imitate the other side. Mm, right arm. Okay. I'm gonna make this. That even looks even better. The other side is too small. Okay, so I'm going to fix that. 
Oh yeah, it looks even bigger. Okay, so we're gonna change the other side. Make that a little bigger. So what do we do? We're gonna use the black. There you go. All I do, all I did was enlarge it. Okay. There it is. That's it. Yeah, that's good enough there. All right. So we're done. So we could do a preview. There you go. The sides. Looks nice. Okay. All right, so that's that's how you design a racing suit with decals. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And the next video, I'll show you how to do a helmet, custom helmet version. All right. Oh, I just remembered. After you finish this, make sure you save it too. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let me just put the name Akina Speed Stars. I already got that there. 20. 22 oh there you go race suit or fire suit however you say it race suit number one just in case i want to make another design race suit b here we go uh, hold on i'm gonna make this s larger Race suit B, I mean A. Dot A. Nope, no room. Uh, let's see here. We're just gonna combine this. Here we go. There we go. Dot A. There we go. Okay, and you just wait a bit, and success. All right, close, and it says apply to your, apply save livery, yes. And we're done. You could actually share it. Or save it in your library, whichever you choose. If you want to show it off, you go to share. But I'm just going to save it because actually I'm going to put more decals and uh, patterns on it, possibly. You know, sometimes you guess they're like, mm, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add that. So, so I'm going to save it. And there it is. Right now it's in my, uh, I'm using it as my avatar, but I want to change back to my suits and these are... These are all the suit deliveries I've done. These are the finished products. This one is a, you may say, unfinished product. But I'm going to go back to my GM Goodrich to match my helmet. And there we go. And you back out. And actually, you should be, I should be able to be on my regular. There we go. Okay, so we're good. Okay, so... Thanks for watching again. Uh, God, I always forget all this stuff here. But anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, livery editing on race suits. And like I said, the next time I will be doing livery editing on race helmets. Okay. Thanks for watching. Again, this is HP Supercharge 2SS.LS3. I'll see you on the next video. All right. Good night.